Hello, in this video we're going to go over the evaluation of the infinite sum 1 over n choose 3 when n ranges from 3 to infinity. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do is first we're going to use partial fractions to turn that uh, fraction into difference of fractions and that would turn our sum into a telescoping sum and then we're going to evaluate that. So let's get started. So uh, what does it mean to do partial fractions? If you have taken a course in calculus, uh, you have familiarity with partial fractions. Uh, and if you haven't, then I'm going to explain exactly what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at 1 over n choose 3. And we're going to simplify that first. The denominator is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 6. So simplifying that, we get 6 over n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Now we are going to split this into three different fractions, a over n plus b over n minus 1 and c over n minus 2, where a, b, and c are constant. Now we're going to find a, b, c. So let's clear the denominators. If you do that, you get 6 on the left, and on the right you get a times n minus 1 times n minus 2 plus b times n times n minus 2 plus c times n times n minus 1. In order to find a, b, c, there are different ways of doing that. You could set the coefficients of the two sides equal and then solve systems of equations. But an easier way would be to plug in different values of n that kill certain terms and that makes things easier. So for example, if you plug in n equals 0, the second and third terms that have n, those disappear and we're going to end up with 6 equals a times negative 1 times negative 2, which means a is 3. If we plug in n equals 1, that kills the first and the third term, which means 6 equals b times 1 times 1 minus 2, which means b is negative 6. If we plug in n equals 2, it kills the first and second term, and that leaves us with c is 3. So to summarize, what we got is 1 over n choose 3 is equal to 3 over n minus 6 over n minus 1, plus 3 over n minus 2. So now we're going to evaluate this sum. I'm going to do this sum from 3 to m and then I'm going to take the limit. If you are doing pre-calculus contests, they probably don't really care about doing, the, doing these steps. You could just do from 3 to infinity. But to be more mathematically rigorous, I would like to do partial sums and then let m to 10 to infinity. But again, if you are doing pre-calculus competitions, uh, you could basically just replace all of the m's that I'm writing here with infinity. So let's just split that into three different sums. We get sum from 3 to m of 3 over n minus sum from 3 to m of 6 over n minus 1 plus sum from 3 to m of 3 over n minus 2. Now I'm going to change the dummy variable so that all of these three terms look uh, the same. I'm going to change n to n plus 1 in the second one. And in the third sum, I'm going to change n to n plus 2. So that gives us these three sums. Now, all of the terms are in common except for a couple of terms from each sum. Every single one of these sums has terms with n equals 3 all the way to m minus 2. So what that means that is that from the first sum, we are left with two terms, 3 over m minus 1 and 3 over m. From the second sum, we are left with also two terms, one from the beginning, 6 over 2, and one from the end, 6 over m minus 1. And from the last sum, we are left with two terms in the beginning, 3 over 1 and 3 over 2. Now, if you let m to go to infinity, you get the infinite sum. The first term becomes 0, the second term also becomes 0, the third term is negative 3, the next term is 0, the next term is 3, and the last term is 3 halves. And if you add these up, we get 3 halves. So the answer is 3 halves. If you like this video, I have a lot of videos like this on my channel. My focus is on working through problems, talking about the ideas behind getting to solutions. I have a video on five different approaches in evaluating sums that you may want to take a look. And if you have any suggestions and problems, send me an email at mathcompetitioncoach.com at gmail.com and I will see you in another video.